What's going on guys? My name is Devin with PowerShine Pressure Washing. Y'all stick around, it's story time. This driveway started it all. How does some crushed asphalt start a business? Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you today. Tell you so. Let me tell you. Let me spin you a tail. Yeah, anyways, as you can see here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. I had this driveway installed, and I had no idea anything about asphalt, really. I didn't realize crushed asphalt, not like, like on a road. And so I was pretty let down, to be real honest with you. I'm an idiot, okay? So it's almost embarrassing. I thought if I could buy some seal coat and put the seal coat on this crushed asphalt, maybe it would help lock everything together. Oh, no, no. Not realizing it was like going to put glue on top of a bunch of Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't care that it would make a mess. I went to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I went to Lowe's and I bought eight five gallon buckets of some seal coat for this driveway. You're gonna be able to roller skate on this gravel. Never gonna happen. I did a test spot right here. I put some on it and, and the thing is, can't even see it anymore. I realized that wasn't gonna work. So I went to Lowe's, took the stuff back. They wouldn't give me cash. I saw this little guy sitting there. I traded all of that seal coat, got this and a bunch of other stuff that I don't even know. I put this joker with it and foam cannon the crap out of my vehicle. <laughs> Anyways, I got that little pressure washer and I was talking to a guy and he was like, have you ever thought about pressure washing houses for a living? No, not really. I had a green side of my house, right? I did what everybody else does. I took that thing, blasted the house. And it got the green off, but it also took off some of the paint and the oxidation and I had no idea what I was doing. It was fun, it was fun. But that was the beginning. Then the guy goes, do you want to wash my house? And like any smart person, go, go, go. so we Google it, I get a general price. We come up with a deal. I started doing some research. This isn't gonna be as easy as I initially thought. It I will say this to anyone. If you're gonna start a business, put in your research, do the right thing, know what it is that you're doing. What I wound up doing was I got myself a truck. Boom. It wasn't the best truck. Let's just put it that way. Probably could have made a better decision. It is a Ford. Baby's a Chevy. But I've got one of each. <laughs> you live and you learn. Because we're getting off topic. What was I even talking about? Oh, I remember now. So then I get the pressure washing truck, right? I'm going to need all of this equipment. I had to build this truck from the ground up. What is a soft wash system? A pressure washing system? Uh, blah, 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 blah. No! I wanted to be legit. I started looking into how to get an LLC. I did everything the hardest way that you possibly can. Learn from my mistakes. A thousand dollars to have all the legal stuff taken care of. Could have went to the courthouse and probably paid like a hundred bucks, whatever. Being the weird artistic kind of guy that I am, Microsoft Paint and designed my logo and my layout, Microsoft Paint paint just to get basic design right point is just because you don't have the best tools does not mean that you cannot do the best quality job you can use what you've got until you get to the place where you actually can afford to build better or you can afford to make things better just finagle stuff hustle baby meanwhile all good now like we're official we've got all of our paperwork i've even got my first client lined up but i didn't understand one thing about starting a business i did know that i didn't know what i was doing and that often can be scary but the point is to actually just start something don't be terrified don't allow that fear to overwhelm you to overcome you just if you have an idea jump on it capitalize don't let that idea become stagnant that you feel like that you're not able to do because the thing is you're able to do anything that you put your mind to. I tell my kids this all the time. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, it is in your hands. You have the power. Go after it. Who says that you can't? Because it's a leap of faith. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of energy. Anytime that you stop placing your dependency on someone else, you become independent. It is rewarding if you're willing to put in the hard work. 
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, click the subscribe button, leave a comment below. Stick around because we got some more good stuff coming up. So see you soon. Thank you.